Hello, goddess, and welcome to this week's bi-weekly Divine Masculine Energy Empowerment Message for Twin Flame Tuesday, our energy check-in to see exactly what both our inner Divine Masculine needs from us to be more in balance with our inner feminine, as well as WTF our external masculine may be up to. That's what we're going to dive into today. So for those who may be new to my channel, welcome. Stick around. Let's hang out and see what resonates with you. If it does, for those who are returning and who are fans of my channel, I appreciate you so very much. If any and all of you would let me know what resonates with you when there's aha moments, what speaks to you in this and of course, at the very minimum, just let me know you stop by. I'd love to say hi. So with that, we're going to dive right into the message for Twin Flame Tuesday. Because right off the bat, this new stone is just speaking volumes as to the message we are needing right now. And, and the name of this stone is called a wave of light and this morning as i was coming back around to set up for this message today i took one glance at this stone and immediately saw in my mind that right off the bat our message is wave on wave wave on wave like rolling with the waves riding the wave that's where we are right now it's about riding the wave don't resist it flow with it and that is so much this message right now is wherever your external divine masculine is let it be let it be let it be okay that he is where he is and you are where you are and that's amazing you see when we are looking at things through the lens of lack through the lens of what is missing that's what becomes amplified the missing not not the thing but the missing of the thing yet when we just let go of even that story of that narrative that we keep telling yes it may be missing it may not be in your physical experience but the the key is the more you feed the story that it's not there or that it's missing is the more that it remains in that state does that make sense so we are being called to ride the waves of this shifting this transforming this transcending that we are all in the midst of and allow for the energetic work to take place as as it's needing to ride the wave i love this wave of light wave of light i'll set that right there so we can see that right there Whew. ride the wave and i'm hearing the song as well and i i keep it's a song i used to listen to all the time and I believe it's Gary, is it Gary Allen? Um, wave on wave, it came upon me wave on wave that you're the reason I'm still here. Am I the one you were sent to save? And that's, that's all that, that's all, those are all the lyrics that are coming through right now. And so I'm intrigued as to ask exactly what is I'm not even sure how to ask the question what exactly is meant by coming upon me wave on wave and, and am I the one you were sent to save wow there's a whole lot of attention being brought to the toxic 
idea of what masculinity is being labeled as. And that's what's really keeping the external masculine from stepping into his power is that true masculinity in in a lot of ways is being categorized as toxic but yet they in their divine masculine state are the true protectors of humanity while the mothers protect the children who protects both the mothers and the children the masculine Yet, because things have been so twist-turned upside down and so much propaganda has been pushed against masculinity as being perceived as toxic, but what's actually toxic is the wounded masculinity that is so prevalent now. The feminization of men, which is toxic, to the masculinity it's so mind-blowing at this point in time to have to see how much the feminine how much you may have had to be in your masculine space because of the compensation that's been needed to create some semblance of balance within you and in your world because it's been so imbalanced in the collective. And so as these energies are being brought into balance, oh, there's the ride the wave. There's that ride the wave part. Coming over, but the, the coming over me wave upon wave, that, that song with the question, am I the one you were sent to save? It's as though the it's as though there's that, that part in yourself that is asking, is it time? Is it time to step out of the idea of what things were once perceived to be? And realize that maybe the changes that were being made were actually the very things that were not fixing anything because it wasn't broken to begin with. And we must protect that which needs protecting, that which is sacred, that which does work, that which is aligned, that which does resonate. But what has happened is humanity has been undermined. The protection been degraded, Swiss cheesed, shall we say. And so it's getting back to this space of even personal salvation, of rescuing yourself, realizing that the one that's both being saved and the one who was sent to save that who is being saved is you is your own inner masculine is your external masculine saving himself from his own narratives self-sabotage that that's keeping him apart from his power same as you it's realizing in what ways have i not protected my personal space in what ways have i not saved myself in what ways am i allowing my personal space my energy me to be violated right because as again all of these deep dark heavy things are now rising to the surface we're all having to confront these inner shadows and as they come up we're both being asked to ride the wave and realize that we're here to quote save ourselves and by that it is meant that only you can really truly protect your energy 
protect your personal space. And so if your inner energies, your inner masculine and your inner feminine are imbalanced, that protection isn't going to be there. If you are in an imbalance within your twin flame connection, which of course, if you are in an imbalance within yourself, you can be sure and look and see very clearly that there is an imbalance within your connection. As it is within, so it is without. So as you begin to acknowledge for yourself, goddess, that I must cultivate this boundary of protection greater than what I have because I have been hemorrhaging energy. I have been not willing to say no to, to those who aren't resonant with where you are right now. Just because you have a history with them, just because at some point in time you were running around having fun, whatever it may have been, and right now where you are, you're in a different place. You're in a different energy signature. And you must be very, very, very protective of that energy. Yes, even from those whom you have been around before. Things have changed. You're in different places. It doesn't mean anything personal to them. But it's personal for you in that you are responsible for you and to you. You are responsible for being your protector. That is what is going to allow for that inner masculine to step more into his power and bring your inner feminine and masculine into balance. And in turn, as we know with this twin flame connection, that is what is going to encourage, energetically encourage your external counterpart to do the same in his world right as the feminine shifts truly so does the masculine and oh have i watched this with my connection in such a huge way magic is what you are magic is the ability to harness the energies and have them work in your favor magic is being able to stand in your power in your power of being magical right of the magic that you are to be able to stand in your power and be able to st say no that doesn't serve me no i'm not available to spend time with you right now no no and no and let that no mean yes to your magic that's that no is the protection that is protecting your magic it is about learning the importance of saying no to someone and not feeling obligated to explain yourself. Just saying simply, no, I'm not available. No, that doesn't work for me. Now is not a good time. I'll be in touch. If that's the case. So allow for yourself to really look at the ways you may be hemorrhaging your energy, you may be disrespecting your own energetic boundaries out of some obligatory bullshit. And as such, what happens is you end up drained and depleted and not in a very good space. If it doesn't light you up, goddess, if you're not excited to be a part of that which is coming into your realm and asking for you to be a part of it you don't have to feel obligated number one to be a part of anything especially if that thing doesn't light you up if there's just something about it and you don't need to have a reason why you don't need to if there is something about it that just feels off listen to that listen to that trust that truth trust that that is the truth regardless of what the details are trust that knowing what you're being guided to is the truth the truth of you and let that be as it is 
your divine masculine, your external masculine, is really, really working to find for himself what that truth is for him. Having been so manipulated, right? As we all are, we're all taught the programs and beliefs of those around us, even though so many of us, especially so many of us star seeds, we end up going, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense, actually. That doesn't resonate with me. It's really learning to tap into that inner truth of resonance. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not true on the whole picture of it. It just simply means that it's not a truth for you in that you don't need to participate in that. You don't need to give that your energy and attention because it's not a part of your core of who you are, meaning water off a duck's back. You can just let whatever things in this world that do not resonate with you to fall away, to just slide right off of you. You don't have to take it in. And allow for yourself simultaneously to take in and, and in, in, integrate, embrace what does resonate for you. And let that be okay. Let that be your truth. With it spring right now, or summer spring as I call it here in the valley, because holy moly mackerel, we are officially... We are even, it even feels like monsoon season. It's so crazy. We're early. We're ahead of schedule. Tell me they're not manipulating the weather. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. <laughs> we are in that space of activation. We are in that space of things coming to life, of new ideas, new beginnings, and things actually sprouting in your world. Things that you may have just recently planted because it's the time it's the time to be planting and um raising up new sprouts right getting those things started for yourself of what you are looking to be creating and building in your world and this is exactly where your external masculine is as well goddess you can be sure of that that where he is is he is actually looking for ways to expand right he's beginning to hear his soul far louder than he ever has before starting to hear the same inner nudges that you've recognized and listened to goddess that you've tuned into i mean that's where you are on this twin flame journey that's why you are so immersed in it in that you've studied it right you've been learning about it you've wanted to know more so you can learn grow expand and ascend on this journey well now he's finally coming to terms and really truly stepping into this activation stage of recognizing that he's here to create he's here to be a part of this new earth rising he may not know specifically that that's what it is and he may not know specifically what he's here to do what his mission is he just knows that he is here for more this has been activated within him just as it has in you is realizing that you're here for more you may not quite have that courage within you to step into that more but that's what this protection is coming around to acknowledge for you is to say hey that inner masculine within you is being called to well do a do a do a security screening shall we say right to really check in all the places that you know security may be light so to speak and you know, others are being able to siphon your energy. You cannot have leeches right right now with where you're going. You cannot be truly empowered and in your power and push your power out into the world in a way that serves it if you have those that are sucking off your energy and draining you you are not going to be at your peak that you are capable of being at 
And how we do that is we honor that magic within us and we protect it, protect that energy. And this is where your external masculine also is, as I've said, is going, wait a minute. I am giving my power away to all of these people that I am so distracted with pleasing. And this, this people pleasing is the very thing that has caused me to push away my external divine feminine, who I really truly want to be with, but I've got this ego obligation. I've got that bullshit obligation. I've got that. Oh, they said I can't be with him. They're judging me. That all of these things. It's time that he's seeing this and it's time to be breaking out of that and in order for you dear goddess dear divine feminine to be leading the way in this and cultivating this for your own inner masculine is again to allow yourself to take this time and take inventory right take inventory of who's in your life who's wanting to be in your life where you may be spending time and energy that you really don't have to give because you only have so many hours in a day goddess and you are in this crossroads space where you're really beginning to see the value of you because you're starting to see how many people want a piece of you right you're starting to go wait a minute i can't oh and i just looked at 22 22 on the timer you're going wait a minute I cannot give all to everybody that wants something of me right now because my focus is also over here too. This is where I want to be spending that energy. And if you, if it's something like, for instance, you know, say you have to go to court, do that. Make sure you do those kinds of obligations that have mag, you know, massive re you know, repercussions if you do not. But really, truly ask yourself, is this worth the, the sucking, the hemorrhaging of my energy to, to give attention to these things? Is it? Or is it better to just take a step away from this? Let it be as it is and give the energy and attention to that which is needing it and that which you desire to. Right, because these things are what are leading you further and further into this activation space of what you're creating next for in both your inner masculine as well as what your external masculine is doing, right? But the key to this activation really being streamlined, really being clarified in what it is you're being led to do You've got to have your protection unlock. You've got to have your energy, your energetic being under security. Right now, as the dark forces whew, are really being so obvious, so obvious in their agendas and their intentions, and anybody who's really tapped in can feel, can truly feel, feel when there's evil afoot right when there are nefarious intentions underway and right now the true light is being of course attacked by the false light on hello a global scale a global scale because the light is expanding Yay! The light is expanding. I'm like, where's my where's my angel number here? We have got to see angel number 2222 22 because holy wow, that's amazing. Feel calm. Oh my goodness. As we're riding the waves, right? As we're riding the waves, just making sure all the hatches are buttoned down, everything's good, right? You're you're keeping that magic of you safe and secure. So that when that time comes for you to blast it out into the world and shower your love and your gifts, those gifts that we were affirming, dear goddess, right? Your, your inner masculine is needing to see his gifts just as your external masculine. And so this is where we all are in our connection is 
really needing to take a step back from ourselves and see the totality of ourselves in the honoring of that which we are. The gifts, your talents and skills and knowledge that you possess. Protect that. That is your magic. Okay? Know that you are doing exactly what you are supposed to do for your expansion. Okay? Just, again, ride the wave knowing that everything that's happening is supposed to happen. That, and here's the mantra that's coming from 2222, that I am where I am and I am exactly where I am supposed to be. So as you ride the waves and things start to feel completely unfamiliar, ride that wave, surrender and trust, knowing that the universe does have your path. That as 2222 tells us, you are on the correct path. You're on the right river. It might be wild, a wild ride, bumpy as fuck, but you're on the right path. And right now it is about changing perception and, and the way of thinking that you've had before. That's why in this unfamiliar space is because you no longer are resonating, right? It's no longer your truth with a lot of these things that you thought were once your truth. So you're in this unfamiliar, unknown space of reacquainting yourself with you, with that true inner masculine. Just as your external masculine is doing that for himself and realizing more and more of what his truth is, recognizing more and more the magic in him because why, goddess? Because of you. Your external masculine sees the magic in him because of you. Know this, that you were the activator for him. You were the catalyst to get him to awaken to where he is now. You were the one that, in essence, popped that pimple, right? 2020, 2222 amplifies union and connection. Union and connection. And that is what, of course, our Twin Flame Tuesday focuses on, is the inner union, is the connection with our inner power, our inner source, as well as, in turn, that mirroring then of our external masculine, of our external physical union, of our external twin flame connection. Spiritual Awakening for Twin Flames 2020, or 2222. Tune into synchronicity. There is no such thing as coincidence. That's what 2222 tells us. Right now, again, as you're riding the wave, as you are, quote, saving yourself, focusing on saving yourself, meaning to be protecting that energy, honoring that space, honoring the value of you, realizing there is only one of you. So as we are, are traversing through this space and time presently and uh, focusing on battening down the hatches, buttoning down, battening down, right? The hatches, right? Oof, well, right there. Surrendering your addiction, surrendering the things, the habits that defined you in this old space. In order to do this, you've got to be honest with yourself. Because in you being honest with yourself, goddess, your counterpart is going to find it in himself to be honest with himself. To see the addictions, and we know, we know in this Twin Flame Connection, Definitely addiction is a major, major component because of coping. That's why we have addictions is we use them as escape tools to cope with what we don't want to actually confront. We're afraid to take our power back because it's scary to be in your power. It means you have to take responsibility for your total reality, for what you are creating. 
So this is why right now, because the reason why we fall into these addictions is because we're not protecting our energy. We're not honoring our magic. We're not connected with our truth. And so we fall into these, these potholes of addiction and we get stuck in there. And it keeps us stuck until we acknowledge that those are the things that are keeping us stuck and that we've got to be the ones to release them, let them go and move on. So be sure to take some time and really be honest with yourself, goddess, so that your external can be honest with himself more, right? What are things that you are using to cope? What do you turn to when you're feeling stressed? When, and this would be this old version of self, what are things that are not quite healthy for you? There's the proper, right, proper context that are not really healthy for you, that you turn to when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling drained in your energy. What are things that you reach for that you actually could find something better, something more empowering, more uplifting to support you, right? To cope with whatever experience that you're going and growing through because it's these old addictions that are going to keep you in the old way right and it's these old addictions that will keep your twin flame connection in the old space right there's so many of us whose counterparts had would would, would can't reach out when they were drunk I sit before you now saying that because I've released some of the major addictions that I had still, they weren't alcohol, but yet I've definitely eliminated that as such. There's been serious shifts that I can clearly see in my counterpart with regard to his own addictions. Major changes because why? I made major changes. So I want to affirm for you, goddess, that your major changes equate to his making major changes. Okay? This is why it is so important that you be focusing on you. Because the more you shift your shit from what doesn't serve you into what does, the more you shift into aligning with what resonates with you and acknowledging what resonates with you and even more so letting go of what doesn't that's this protection factor letting it letting it bounce off of you and keep on going past you just like we had in the super sign sunday right we really have this theme going this week of of what's meant for you will find you what isn't meant for you will miss you right that's that's um paraphrasing that quote there so it's really acknowledging for yourself but wait are these things actually meant for me or was this something that i took on to help myself cope that i am forcing to keep in my life and as such it is keeping me back from expanding into this newly activated space this new beginning space <sighs> had to have that deep breath as I all of a sudden was seeing again that feel calm uh, message from our 2222 22 angel number this week with that goddess that is our divine masculine energy for this bi-weekly check-in it's really about protecting the magic of you and no longer allowing these detrimental things these habits these addictions that you have had to keep you stuck in that old way as you're working so hard to step into this next version of self in order to really truly step into the new you have to be willing to let go of the old your new life will cost you your old life and so even if this means that there are individuals that you once hung out with and, and had fun, if they are not honoring where you are, then are they, number one, are they really your friend? 
But number two, then maybe now is the time to recognize the magic in you and say, you know what? If you can't honor where I am and respect that, then maybe, just maybe, it's time to part ways and go our own ways. That happens here. This world is temporary. That's the beautiful thing that we can, we can see as twin flames is that we know that we are just here temporarily and that we, we will for certainly be reunited. But on the flip side of that, as you'll hear me say all the time, you're already connected. So how can you be reunited? How can you experience twin flame union or reunion when you're never separate to begin with? And this is why as you do the work on you, dear divine feminine, if you, as you heal your own inner masculine and feminine and bring those energies into balance and into union within you, in turn, you facilitate the same in your counterpart as well as in the connection as a whole. So I reiterate, a twin flame journey is a self-love empowerment journey. And that the power is in your hands, goddess. The power to protect your energy truly, to honor your magic to break these addictions, if you are needing support in breaking whatever habits you have that you are addicted to, whatever that means, shopping, gambling even, um, whatever, you know, um, scrolling, scrolling on social media, whatever that may be, I am here for you. Let's book a, book a Zoom session. That link is below. It is I am empowered.as.me and let's let's look for where your power is let's get you a plan in place for you to start taking back your power yourself because nobody else can do it for you nobody else can do it for you so i am here for you goddess to remind you and to help you really truly know that the power is in your hands because that power has always always been inside you Namaste.